Today I will be testing my new NEMA 1450 outlets. I have one in the front of the garage and one on the rear wall. Connected to the front one is a Gen 1 mobile connector that supports up to 40 amps of charging. The rear wall has a Gen 2 mobile connector that came with the car and supports up to 32 amps of charging. I was curious to know if the two units were similar in temperature when they are charging. My test procedure involved taking the ambient temperature of the garage, which was 71.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 C. I also took the temperatures of the outlet, mobile connector, and plug while not charging. Then I connected each to the car and started charging at 16 amps, then 24, and then 32 amps. The Gen 1 also got a run at 40 amps. I waited at least 15 minutes after the start of charging and when changing the amp level in order to get a steady state of temperature. The following video will show the process. I will summarize after each set of tests with a chart of the results. Here are the results for the temperature testing on the rear NEMA 1450 outlet using a Gen 2 mobile connector. I was surprised to see how warm the mobile connector is when not in use. It is definitely burning some watts while idle. Looking at the handle, it only gets a little bit warmer from 16 to 32 amps. Likewise, the plug in the outlet doesn't reach 90 degrees Fahrenheit, less than 18 degrees from the ambient room temperatures. As a tip, if you see very high numbers at the plug, 
check the outlet condition and wiring connection. The mobile connector raises from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 102 degrees Fahrenheit or about 12 degrees as it goes up to 32 amps. Overall, these numbers aren't too bad. Here are the results for the temperature testing on the front NEMA 1450 using a Gen 1 mobile connector. The handle temps go up quite a bit to 32 amps and seems to level out at 40 amps. Compared to the Gen 2 mobile connector, it is a bit higher at 32 amps, 84 degrees compared to 78. For the plug, Temps also rise more at 32 and 40 amps. Again, higher than the Gen 2 at 32 amp levels. Not huge, about four degrees more than average. Interestingly, the Gen 1 mobile connector idle temp is lower than the Gen 2. I was surprised that the Gen 1 is about five to nine degrees cooler on average at 
16, 24, and 32 amps. I made one last chart that combines both the Gen 1 and Gen 2 mobile connectors and I grouped them uh, next to each other. So for example in the first box you can see the before charging numbers. The next box shows the 16 amp numbers, then the 24 amp numbers, and 32 amp numbers. And of course only the Gen 1 is capable of 40 amps which is in the last box. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.